Dans sa mission la plus régalienne, le chef d'état-major général adjoint en charge des opérations et renseignements, les lieutenants général Ichali Gonza Ndourou Jacques se rendus ce 23 octobre 2023 dans les profondeurs de la province du Nord Kivu. Question pour lui de palper du doigt les lignes physiques de front, réorganiser les troupes sur toutes les positions les plus avancées des forces armées de la République démocratique du Congo. Il a ragaillardi le moral des soldats avant de passer un message à la population. À barrer l'ennemi de chez nous. La population doit être rassurée, l'armée est là pour continuer à travailler, à faire son travail et assurer la protection de l'intégrité territoriale. Le chef d'état-major général adjoint en charge des opérations et renseignements avait dans sa suite le gouverneur de la province du Nord Kivu. The chief of staff, general deputy in charge of operations and intelligence, general Major Nduru Jack declares to be in North Kivu on a mission of command and inspection of troops at Masisi with the aim of correcting certain errors and continue with the front as well as consolidate the positions. The population must be reassured because the army is there, he said. A Kenyan soldier attached to the East African Community Regional Force was killed on Tuesday in Kibumba in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo following a mortar fire attack launched by rebels. A DRC army spokesperson has since blamed rebel group M23 for the attack on the East African Community Regional Forces. Lieutenant Kano Kaiko Ndijike, the spokesman for the Congolese army in North Kivu, said that the M23 attacked with a mortar fire that led to the death on Tuesday of a peacekeeper from the East African Community Regional Forces. After facing the determination of the FRDSA soldiers on the morning of Tuesday when they attacked One of our positions, the M23 supported by the Rwandan army, directed their motor fire at the advanced positions of the East African Community Regional Force with the aim of accusing the FRDC of being the perpetrators of the said fire and thus attracting the good grace and sympathy of the regional force, obviously creating a misunderstanding between Lata and the royal forces of the DRC, the Congolese army said in a statement on Tuesday. The M23 did not immediately react to the accusation, but the death is the first such loss by the East African Community Regional Forces, which deployed last year in November and has often engaged in in direct combat with rebel groups in eastern DRC, choosing instead to work as a buffer for civilian areas. However, the ambush, the second in a week on East African Community Regional Force, could signal direct threats to the East African Community Regional Force positions currently divided among troop contributors, Kenya, Uganda, South Sudan, and Burundi. The DRC and Rwanda have often traded brim on supporting rebel groups, targeting their respective security in interests. Both sides deny the charges, but it could signal renewed tensions between neighbors who share ethnic identities among some of their border communities. On Tuesday morning, The Congolese army had accused M23 of breaking the ceasefire by attacking FRDC soldiers' positions in Vilunga Park in North Kivu. In the face of this provocation, all measures have been taken by the armed forces of the Democratic Republic of Congo to respond to all eventualities, warned Ndijike. Kinshasa, meanwhile, said on Tuesday it respects the agreements of the heads of state resulting from the Rwanda and the Nairobi agreements, which impose a ceasefire between the M23 and the Congolese army. Clashes have recently broken out near Goma on Monday with the Congolese army accusing M23 of killing civilians. M23 have in the past insisted they have a right to defend their sides 
accusing FODC soldiers of using allied rebels to attack them. In the past month, there has been almost daily intense fighting between the M23 rebels and the armed Rosalindo self-defense groups. The East African Community Regional Force was meant to help DRC regain peace, but has had to deal with more than 100 armed groups. Earlier in October, Kinshasa said it will not renew the mandate of East African Community Regional Force once it expires on December 8th. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.